Hello, Brooks here with another set review, and today I'm reviewing the Power Rangers set. So, yeah, it's really called the actual game. It has two pieces, and I've already opened this, so we're just going to be taking a look at the pieces. So, what essentially your review uh, over here, Switcher, pointless, a uh, motor. And lights. Here's the thing. Also included in the box are these. Yep, you get some Technic stuff. These are actually pretty valuable. Let's try and get that in there. And this. So that is basically a bunch of extra Technic stuff. Weirdly enough, though, my set came with these extra. Those aren't listed on the box, but let's just get into basically all that we got in here, so starting with this, the battery box, so this is the older style one, so when you open it, there are three batteries in here, and a mistake I did and thought that uh, this didn't work was I put three batteries in here and tried to turn it on, so you flip it, and then you put another three in there, so that's how that works. This is the old style of battery box. You got some Technic related elements on the side. So let's just take any. Let's start with the lights. So the lights have two lights with some wires as well as a brick and then this kind of modified brick. It is a power converter. I do this and then when you put it on, boom, you got the lights working. And those work pretty well, I'd say, yeah. They're okay. So that is that. And then when you unplug this, the lights stop. Right. So the next thing we got is this. It is the standard M motor. Boom, it's already rolling. So let's actually get that to stop. And put in a Technic element right there. It's spinning this way. And if you do the other one, it spins that way. Something cool though is that you could stack these atop each other, like so, and boom, you get the light and the skin. Now, yeah, I did save one of our functions related thing. It's this. They call it the switcher. Or just switch on the box, but here's how it works. You put that there. You can see how badly these wires are bent though, and they came like that in the box. Anyway, then you connect these two here and look. You would transfer power, right? Nothing happens. You take this. Boom. That is pointless in my opinion because it's essentially just doing this one's job, switching from here to here. So, yeah, that's actually pretty pointless. So, uh, yeah, I think that that's it for actually the pieces of the set, but it is now time for the final verdict. So, what do I think about this power function motor set? First of all, um, this technic stuff, let's not even count, okay? This is what you're paying for. This is what's advertised on the box. It's the older style of battery box, so that's gonna annoy a lot of people. It's definitely not as nice looking. That is pointless. The spinning function is cool. The lights, they're not super useful. Like, other lights are just so much useful, more useful in the Lego community. Like, for example, uh, brick stuff and other things, like, they put LEDs under regular Lego bricks. That's way more useful. You know, this, you have to, like, intervine into Lego, and then the, all these wires, so this is a comic of light, are bent in weird ways. So, you can't really get it to just stick down normally. So, it was originally $30 in the U.S., so, I don't know. Honestly, for $30, I just can't recommend this but i'm very sorry to say that because i was very excited for this set but yeah that's it for this video hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe and comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye